Hey guys, thanks for watching the Install Pros channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the paint protection film on the side mirrors of this Toyota Tundra. Uh, the mixture for the installation solution that we'll use in this video can be found in one of our other videos, and a link to that video can be found right here. So we'll get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, some clear paint protection bra to the face of this uh, painted mirror on this Toyota Tundra computer cut uh, piece. So I've got the two patterns here. One's Top one to passenger side, bottom one's the driver's side. The first thing that you want to do is clean the surface. Okay. Um, get yourself a soft terry cloth. I'd recommend alcohol and water. 50-50 uh, mixture. Go ahead and spray the, the painted area. First you want to get the bulk of the, the dirt or the grime off of there. That's pretty clean. I'd go ahead and rotate that towel to the other side and clean it one more time wipe it off. You don't want to leave any dirt or grit or grime on there. Um, you don't want that behind your material and um, you don't want to be scratching it around with the clay bar. Um, you can get your mirror pretty clean and if you can't find a clay bar at your local automotive store um, you can still apply the clear bra. Sometimes there may be some wax on the mirror. Um, this is good for just getting the surface really clean. Um, I'd recommend it um, but if you can't find it or don't have it, it's not, it's not necessary um, if you get it real clean. I'd spray that wet, take a clay bar, it's kind of like basically wet sanding, removes any wax or tar bugs or hard water, and just gets it real smooth. Uh, the material would adhere better. Okay, go ahead and find a new clean spot on the rag. Wipe that off. I always rotate to another spot each time I put it on the vehicle. You'll find that most of your computer cut pieces don't give 100% coverage. Okay, They're designed to just cover the faces of the mirrors and the face of the bumper and part of the hood and, and protect you from most of the rock chips. So the patterns you're going to get, don't think they're wrong if you get a computer cut pattern. It doesn't come all the way up to this top edge. It's not designed to do that. The people that design the pattern know how much stretch that material can take before it thins the adhesive too much and it retracts and then it just it fails and has bubbles. So um, it's meant to basically give you a cover on the face and stop the chips and up here you're not going to get too many. So. The next thing that you want to do is go ahead and spray the, the surface wet with the alcohol and water. Um, on mirrors, I would recommend either plain water, vinegar, and water, 50-50 mix, or the alcohol and water. Um, the reason why is because that wets the adhesive, but allows the material to tack up good and not slip around a lot. It's a small pattern, so you'll see why here in a second. So. Go ahead and put that on there. Right now you can move it if you pull hard, but if you stop, it's kind of not moving. That's the idea of the alcohol and water. If you have soapy water on a small mirror pattern, it's going to move all over on you. So you want to do what's called fit checking it. So you've got it on there, you're kind of looking at this line. Okay, i got a little that's going to roll up. It's going to kind of go around that edge. It's not quite all the way to the edge here, but that's okay. Because this, this slack here, I'm going to need to stretch it this way, and then it will get most of the coverage there. Um, I can tell that there's a little extra, so if you did stretch that and you had extra, you could trim that off when you're done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that to the right a little bit. You're going to want a little rubber squeegee. Um, a lot of different colors of these, doesn't really matter if you can find a black one or a yellow one. Um, those are the best, really like the yellow ones and the black ones. Um, the first thing I would do here, because it kind of curves this way and this way, is I would go ahead and lift that and just push up like that, tack it through the center, okay, through the center like that. Now you can kind of lift this, I already pulled it, but you just kind of stretch it that way, okay. Overlap your pattern so you don't leave any moisture behind. Just roll that up. 
you can see how the slack it's just sticking down pretty good if you had a lot of like soapy water you used on this mirror um, you know it just come back and look like this again um, so that's the reason for plain water or alcohol and water something a little more aggressive I'm going to wrap around the edge here and there's a little water there on the side so you want to make sure you get all that out you don't want to leave any moisture behind it will dry out if it's a little bit if it's minimal um, Okay, and I'll show you how to come back and address those little extra pieces of slack in a minute. So you can see that this is pretty curved here. This takes a good bite at the end. So you don't want to overstretch your mirror because if you really yanked on it and stuck it, then it's just going to retract, and, you know, the next day or whatever and not look real good. So go ahead and just give it a tug here. Wrap that around. Okay, and kind of hold it with one hand and just bring that around like that okay this slack here you can see this little this little bend here you need to pop that up to that bend okay just work that moisture through give it your pull I'm pulling on it now try to stretch it a little bit okay you got a little bit of slack here you can pull on it go right straight at it okay same with this down in the corner pop it up pull straight to the corner just go right at it like that okay and we'll see a little finger there and we'll wiggle this and go straight at it okay the next thing that I like to do is clean what I've done just so I can see if I've left any moisture behind if it's real wet you can't tell what's on the top and what's behind so I'm gonna wipe this off and clean that all real good and now I know what I'm left with okay I'm left with a little little bit of slack there so that adhesive is gonna, it has a tack time. It's going to get tackier with time. Right now it's kind of sticky. In five minutes it'll be stickier. In ten minutes it'll be very sticky. So let that set up for a few minutes. It's, uh, that's probably starting to get sticky even after a minute. And I can just roll this towel off here. And just keep pushing it. And as I'm pushing past the edge of the bra, the moisture's coming out and the towel's absorbing it. So it doesn't suck it back behind there and just do the same thing again. There's a little feet, we call it finger, it looks like a finger, so a little finger here on this mirror. Okay. I'm just going to take, pull on it with one hand and go right past it with the towel. Hold a little bit, get a little pressure, and just roll the moisture out of there. Okay. Take my thumb, that's done. Bottom edge looks good, that edge. Look good, there's a little finger there. You got a little tiny one here on the top. It's getting sticky, it's starting to get tacky, so I'm just going to roll at these, if you can get down on those. Here, this is probably what a lot of people are going to run into on the mirrors. You just, I've got my finger under the towel there like that, and I'm just taking my fingertip and just going straight at these little pieces of slack. Um, if you get a little one like that, you can just kind of peel it back and maybe stretch it to the left or stretch it to the right. Okay. If you're doing a more difficult mirror, Let's say you're doing one and you're struggling with it and it's a lot more curved than this one. Um, as a last resort, I wouldn't recommend cutting on the vehicle. Um, if you don't put a lot of pressure, you won't cut your paint. But just be really careful. Um, and you can just come along like this. And you, if you got a little excess material, Um, you can just lightly score the bra without getting into the paint and then peel that off. Okay, just not a lot of pressure. Just barely score the bra and make it where you have to tear it a little. Okay, so if you ever take that piece off, there's no cut in the paint. Now that just kind of got rid of that extra slack. You could have tried to lay it down and then maybe in a couple days it came back and got dirt under it. So I'd just recommend working it down. If you struggle with it, maybe just trim that little bit off these lines all look really good. Right here where I stretch it's overlapping a little bit down onto this black plastic. Okay, and just take the knife. Like I said, lightly just just barely score that material. Don't push hard. If you don't push hard enough and it, you didn't cut through it, that's okay. At least you didn't cut your paint. You can put a little more pressure on it the second time. And try it again. Better to cut the paint. So you might have to take your fingernail and kind of pick at the line to get it started. It's actually a good thing. That means you didn't get your paint. 
coffee and I, I didn't put enough pressure on it, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, I did actually, so that's actually what you want because that means you didn't get through to the paint. Now I can peel that off and lay that down. That's pretty much it. Um, some vehicles, the mirrors are like an egg. They're very curved, very difficult to put the material on. A big round mirror. Just, you know, trim it off, let you have a little oval of material in the middle and give yourself a little bit of protection. Don't try to wrap all this material around the curve. If you do, you're going to overstretch it, thin the glue on the back, the adhesive, and it's just going to retract it on you in all these areas. Um, that's how you install computer cut clear paint protection bra on the face of a painted mirror. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you found it helpful, please take the time to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. From time to time, we do do giveaways. Uh, check out the description of this video. Uh, we'll offer a discount on one of our computer cut paint protection film kits. So, thank you.